What the hell? Oh my god, he shot him in the neck? Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done get it, I'm on top of the list Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse uh -uh. What's up, y'all? Shiboli and I'm Tumkulu, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Titans, episode 11. The previous episode wasn't my favorite. There were so many inconsistencies. Like, the only believable part of last week's episode was Donna Troy's dream state into her believing in herself again. Imagine, out of all the other stuff that happened, that was the most re realistic thing that happened, in my opinion. But... I'm still here for it. Um, Jason and, and Jonathan are now in Wayne Manor and, and the Titans are on the run. So let's see what else they got. <laughs> so anyway, if you like my reaction, like, subscribe, you know, turn the post notification bell. Let me dive right in. This house has an AI. TLC, really? That's an interesting choice of a song. Dude is getting mad comfortable in the manor. But you see what I mean? Dick said, let's not go back to the manor because the cops know about the manor. But then the bad guy is now hiding in the manor. But the cops don't show up. It just gave itself so many inconsistencies. Is that kryptonite? He found his mask. He wants to see his profile. He's smiling while listening to it. God damn, they say he's as good as his proxies. So he's as good as he's Jason. Oh, it made him upset. Damn. Who's is going in on him? <laughs> the dude just went to his old bedroom. My fear is that they dragging out this Red Hood and Scarecrow storyline to fill in the rest of the episodes. Damn, that suit is huge on him. <laughs> the next step in our He's gonna try to kill Nightwing? Titans. Titans. I just remember Starfire and Blackfire also had a whole interaction in the church. That didn't make sense. That's why it's called Calling from Home. Tim! Like his voice is so cool, he's so dope, but these are Jonathan Crane's words going through Jason, so it, it affects my viewing of it. <laughs> that does not make sense. He was recording this through a vertical phone, but it showed horizontal on the stream. He's right. That was so weird. How did he know to communicate through a radio? Is did they always have this contingency? Connor and Dick's relationship is better in Young Justice. Is that Donna watching him? This dude healed fast from a gunshot wound also. <laughs> Where did she get to change her clothes? It's healing. At least they explain that. Oh, she's not on the wanted poster because she did. So she brought him random clothes, not his clothes. So they're going to go on the Lazarus Pit mission? Does she have new abilities now? Is that symbol like a key? Damn, she's been mastering her abilities. Is this is how Starfire is hiding? Tell me nobody sees that it's Starfire. All these people. The cop is getting gun ready. What is this storyline leading to? Starfire getting empathy? <laughs> she already has it. We're in impro Im <laughs> Enterprise. I don't know why Im Enterprise was such a hard word right now. Oh my god. This is like Bruce's office or something? That's such a high security office though. You gotta have retina scans. Didn't this dude want forgiveness two episodes ago? He legit was like, fuck it, I guess. Jason's not drugged up anymore. She's just a loose cannon with no allegiance to nobody. What's with the glowing things in the boxes? Keeps glowing like kryptonite. Where's his family? So they just left their son in the ICU to save themselves? <laughs> Wow, this Tim Drake's playground. The parents didn't even know about it. He had a whole room like this they didn't know. Goddamn, do we really have time for them to be parents now? Why didn't she even try Wayne Manor first then? Or maybe she saw Jason Todd's video first. 
Tim is just a kid at a candy store at this point. So Starfire is like following this mother. I forgot about that whole scroll, like stroller dream she had. But uh, anyway, her disguise is so terrible though. <laughs> Who's this person? Phones are all down. Who's Max? He looks like Victor Zaz. God damn. Hey, hey, Max. Damn. Did she get shot in the heart? What is happening to her? Are we seeing her home country? I mean, planet? Why did I say country? Oh my god. The show is so random right now. I'm being random. Is she remembering uh, something that happened when they were born? Her and her sister, that is. Hello, my what is she seeing exactly? Every Corey didn't have powers? The fire that on all sides. So was the power originally black fires? But Corey is the firstborn, so that can't be the case. Tell the people the fire. Damn. So the power wasn't hers? Damn. Tamaran is a very political place. So Tamaranians are an African tribe in space. <laughs> what is happening to her? So let me get this right. She finds out she has no power, but then she displays power. Is this when her true power is kicking in? Because Blackfire took her power back. Them and they Lazarus pit hunt. What does them finding the pit gonna help? Is one of them gonna die, then gonna use the pit or something? Why would the pizza guy just walk in the house? And they would make Jonathan Crane kill this pizza guy? Why? That does not make sense. He just wanted pizza that bad but had no money. That's why he got kryptonite. So this kryptonite sleeping dust? <laughs> okay, I guess it does that now. Dick is moving so stupidly. Oh, he didn't kill him. He needs somebody to experiment on. At least that makes sense. Uh, Goddamn, this dude is so unstable right now. How is he winning? Maybe because the heroes are acting stupid? He can't do it? Batman was right. In the psyche eval. Why they keep flashing to... Is that his alter ego? He's got a split personality now. Are they giving Jonathan Crane an evolution so he'll remain the big bad for the past two episodes? Because we got two left after this one, right? Of course something happens that makes Donna Troy not show up. She's been running into speed bumps. First death, then illusions. Now hating the Drake, helping the Drake family. These cops sound so shady. God damn. I guess she gotta step up and be a hero. This episode is way better than the previous one, but it's still not great. It had great nine episodes at least. <laughs> Dude got hella confidence now. There's so many storylines happening. I mean, we got the Lazarus pit. Tim versus Red Hood. I mean, <laughs> Nightwing vs. Red Hood, Corey, Blackfire, and Donna Troy vs. GCPD. How did she get to the house? You carried her and a baby? Goddamn woman. Your sister. Her original powers. Damn. So they gave Blackfire Starfire's colors, then they gave Starfire Blackfire's colors. I don't think that's gonna go well with the Phantom. They just created another story thread with this woman and her. In prison, husband and son. He says he's a coward, then he smiles after hearing the times for mask is over. Is it insinuating that Jonathan Crane is the mask and his true form is Scarecrow? Oh my god, he's cutting his face? Ah damn. Damn. Okay, now it's getting interesting. Stupid of you not to put on the mask, Jason. Dude likes jumping on cars. <laughs> what is happening? The editing for that scene was so weird. Ooh, but it's cool here. Fight. Bruce, your kids are fighting. Ooh. Why does Jason think he can take on Dick hand to hand? Damn, it's the civilians that are gonna make him lose this fight. 
I'm sorry, but why would they move closer? Ooh. So they just watching. Why would Dick take a gun in front of civilians? God damn, Dick. This is so weird. Dick Razor would never put down the gun, man. What the hell? Oh my god. He shot him in the neck? So they're gonna just make a civilian kill Nightwing? What does Jason seem shocked? I guess the Lavers, Lavers Pit storyline with, with Raven and Beast Boy makes sense now. They're gonna have to bring Dick back. They beating him up while he's shot in the neck. He's stupid for showing up alone. He's running away now. What is Abawa doing? This is a weird episode. It's weirder than last week's episode, but it's better than last week's episode at the same time. God damn. God damn. He just cut his face for no reason, essentially. I guess this is what you have. You do when you get an actor that you don't want to cover up with a mask. You make his face the mask. <laughs> I'm, I'm presuming that's the case. I'm presuming that was the case for Jason's mask falling off so quick between the fight. So his face is also out there. Oh my god, this was a weird episode. So Corey had Blackfire's powers this whole time. Even though it was in the Blackfire. I mean, it was in the Starfire colors from the comics. But now her original power is Blackfire's color. The Grayson, he's not dead. Because he was getting beat up. And he was covering even though his neck was bleeding. And Raven sensed it and her powers did something. But then again I don't know exactly what her powers just did. They got the Lazarus pit. Maybe the powers will scoop up the Lazarus pit. Take it to him. Heal him real quick. Because <laughs> they have healing properties. Tim Drake also got super healing. I mean super healing now. My English right now. I'm so tired. Probably that's the that's the issue. This episode even made me more tired and I kept on getting interrupted in between the recording. This it's probably irritated me more. Like it, I don't know how I feel about this episode. Like I said, it's not as bad as last week's episode because I felt worse watching that one. But this one also I don't feel great. And it's not only because the heroes are being defeated for making dumbass move. Just the writers are making convenient choices to make sure the hero, the villains are on top and the heroes are separated. Like why, why would Dick take down Connor and Crypto? Why would he go at it alone? Did he have the plan to kill Jason? Maybe they should have made that clear and make him decide not to kill Jason at the end. I think that would be a stronger writing choice. But anyway, it is what it is. That was Titans episode 11. I don't know how to feel about these past two episodes. 